Hello and welcome. Today we're going to reseal my injectors because I've only bought one new, the needle lift position sensor injector and the other five are leaking so I'm going to open them up and then we're going to clean it, the internals in the ultrasonic cleaner and after that we're going to reassemble them and make sure they're sealed. <laughs> I've already cracked open all five injectors. You're probably gonna need someone to hold down what you're fastening this with because these are torqued to 80 Newton meters and they're really tight. When we now open them, I can just turn them by hand since they've already been pre-loosened. They're really disgusting on the outside. I just hold them like horizontal. Then I pull out the thing. And on this side, the puck is now missing because it dropped into the wrong side. There's this one puck that is sitting in a spring. You can take out that spring by just letting it sit and then taking out said puck. There is a shim inside. This shim is what governs the pop pressure of the injector. Take a thin screwdriver and try to loosen it, but be careful to not damage the surfaces. This is the tiny shim. These are precision machined and you cannot just replace them with a normal shim. The top part is now empty and on the bottom part you can just slide out the nozzle. This part sits like this. Then here you have the actual nozzle with a needle inside. Make sure to not let this drop because otherwise it will distort the top. And then there is another shim inside of this but that is just a ceiling ring. And then the injector is already fully disassembled. I'm now put it in my ultrasonic cleaner basket and now I'm gonna clean it inside of the ultrasonic cleaner for 15 minutes. After you've now cleaned the injector, make sure to take out all the residual cleaning agent and now I'm gonna put everything back together how it came apart. You have to make sure to dip them in diesel. I'm gonna use a bit of oil. And now to reseal them, I'm going to use some thread sealer. I've also seen people use Teflon tape, but I don't know if that is correct. I just want to be extra sure that these don't leak again. Now you can put everything back together. Just make sure that this hole is lining up with the shaft that's in there. And now we're going to torque the injector to the required 80 Newton meters of torque. And now I just have to repeat this procedure with the other four injectors. So yeah, this is just a quick demonstration of how you can open them and what the components are like inside. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!